Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be every sun, moon and rising, a monthly tarot reading for October 2019. And uh, just bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, then we are going to jump right into it. So the first card which stands for the topic of the month or the general theme of the month for you Aries is going to be the Tree of uh, Wands, followed by the second card which represents the challenges or the things we have to face or you have to face throughout the month here um, and kind of overcome. That is going to be the Temperance. Uh, one second. And then the third card, it is... It, it is um, about the best possible approach to the situation or what are the most helpful things you can do guys that you can uh, place yourself in a rather good and beneficial position in regards to the uh, in regards to the month the theme and the challenges that is going to be the seven of wands the fourth card here are representing the lesson that month is going to teach you and that will be the three of cups or what is the information or you know what is the yeah what is the karmic lesson there that uh, you will have to extract from the um from the month's uh, situations that you're going to find yourself at and the last card that will be uh the helpful energies or the energies which are going to help you throughout it which are going to breathe enthusiasm into into you you know and in generally the energies which are not going to allow you to give up in other words and that is going to be the five of wands so um the month uh, generally is going to be about uh, you growing in uh, either way and uh, here and there clearing out some you know chores and tackling with uh, immediate uh, repercussions of certain actions but before we go into that uh, let's uh, count down the cards one more time or run down the cards one more time and then we're going to scrutinize the reading so three of wands it is uh, the topic followed by the challenges here of the temperance card then we do have the best possible approach toward the situation that is to be the seven of wands Afterwards is going to be the Tree of Cups, which stands for the lesson. And then the last one, that is to be the Helpful Energies. And uh, it is the Five of Wands. All right, so topic, uh, that will be the Tree of Wands. And it is catalyzed or accompanied by the, um, the Judgment. So these two cards, first of all, they are a active supporters and they do speak for a, a very aggressive impulse that you are to have 
to make something happen out of your out of your life out of your situations it's like it's not even like a denying failure it is more like striving toward a better future striving toward greater results for example striving toward settling a certain uh, misunderstandings or situations which you are not very pleased with the thing is that with these two cards you will always be able to find a way all right you will always be able to find a way to be successful career-wise you will always be able to find a way to be um, happy in regards to relationship now the thing is that how much you are willing to or not how much but yeah well how much you are willing to take on this way that you're gonna find because finding a way it's not the same as capitalizing on that way right so these two cards also are pointing that you need to think above your current limits all right it's kind of like challenging yourself to go for more challenging yourself to take any uh, a difficult project challenging yourself to approach a, a rather quite let's say handsome and attractive person as well it's all about challenging yourself to do things that under normal circumstances you would rather not do either because you are afraid of a failure or either because you are um you are feel you are shy to do it so or it is because you know you think that the circum the the uh that the consequences of those actions are simply not worth it but the growth with these couple of cards it all comes to your courage uh it, it all comes to your um iron will or rather like determination to um to go for growth or to grow let's say and the growth is not going to come on its own accord not with these two cards guys it, it does require um your decisiveness let's say it that way and as well acute awareness when one has to take on uh the opportunities when the opportunities comes around so um it looks like that you do have a lot to to deal with throughout the, throughout the month of October, and uh, it doesn't look like as well that the month is going to be rather boring for you, uh, Aries. Is, but Aries, not Aries, is, but Aries, and uh, but you have to depending on what kind of a name you do have, either career or relationship. Uh, you have to roll up your sleeves and do something about it okay so you are miserable into your relationship life well what you can do about it is that what is that thing that you need to ask yourself and you are going to find the answer and then you have to do it all right same thing goes in regards to your career now the second card it's about the challenges or the things that are gonna hold you down all right we do have the temperance and it's catalyzed or accompanied with the Knight of Swords. And we're talking about chores here. Chores which are going to be quite annoying. Chores which are not going to be very well aligned with your, uh, with your feelings. So in other words, there will be things you need to tackle with that you don't want to tackle with because you find them either annoying, uh, but you're finding that tackling with them, you are going to be miserable, you're going to be despondent, you know, no different than having to deal with the paperwork at, uh, at your career while you for example want to want to attend to the client and etc etc so those kind of uh, activities that one um, one endeavor it's accompanied by that are inseparable 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 blah, 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 blah. I, I can't write, wrap my uh, tongue around this word uh, this word um, separate inseparable inseparable or inseparate part you know of the um of the situation or of the endeavor as well so you want to yeah uh, you want to be with someone well you have to date with them and you have to do things that they like it's just they may be annoying to you but it is all up to compromise so in the whole in the bottom of all that all right lays the willingness or the uh, the tendency to make compromises these two cards are a uh, active um, active friends 
and those compromises will reside exactly into your feelings. What I mean is that the compromises you need to do in order to make your life easier does refer to things you don't like to do or you find them stupid or you are finding them uh, unnecessary and etc uh, etc et so uh, it does this this month will call for you to be a little bit more yielding in regards to mutual endeavors with uh, friends and family with uh, potential partners and also be a bit more open-minded or um or broad when it comes to um, when it comes to tasks that are accompanying your projects as well i mean you sign up for those projects you sign up for those tasks and you have to fulfill the whole of it not just the, the parts that you like but also the parts that you don't like from the particular endeavor so this is going to be generally the uh the negative aspect of the month you know that you will have to kind of deal with the both side of the coin and uh this could be this could prove itself a little bit more aggravating and irritating here where you know it's gonna be it's gonna be at times where you can find yourself quick into temper right and also um unwilling to accept foreign people's opinion or different kind of opinions which should be something that you shouldn't reside in but rather open your mind or at least even if you don't accept the opinion of someone else right doesn't mean that you don't have to um that you that you don't have to honor it so it's it goes like this you need to respect what the others think and what the others have as a, an agenda and as a um, as a, a goal in front of themselves so uh the next one is it will be in regards to the best possible approach that you should take in regards to the month and that is the seven of wands accompanied with the sun card so uh first th this is a another huge impulse that we do have it we do have a, a active supporters and these two cards first of all are saying that you need to mind your own business you need to structure your current uh your current environment before you actually can challenge yourself to go for a, a bigger growth now uh, these two cards are representing as well unfound potential that you do have into your current endeavors and then and when that potential it is uncovered and capitalized on then you can go for a greater challenges or a bigger uh, or the or expand excuse me upon your either career or upon your on or upon your relationship now these two cards also are urging you to go very natural in regards to the situation that you are to face so natural what i mean here is that if one thing it's all about performance you shouldn't seek money from it all right or if, for example if you do try to help someone you shouldn't seek money from it or a, a or yieldings from it unless that person does not present them on their own accord so it's all about natural unfoldment of the situations and it's all about you Mm, how do I say it? Um, well, it's like going with the flow, all right? It's it's like trusting that the better thing is gonna happen uh, into the future after uh, after your performance. So being someone for the sake of being with this one should be something that you uh that you have to cling on instead of being someone for the sake of what that thing can be in the future right or being in this job for the job itself rather than being in this job because you can't be ceo in the future all right so it's uh, you need to focus more upon the moment at that specific time at this specific month and this moment will present you with an opportunity to uh, expand on your current growth and to stabilize your current patterns let's say in your current positions and from there you can start challenging yourself but um the good thing about the month here with these couple of cards is that you can definitely cash in on a current um, 
leverages that you do have in regards to either your career or in regards to either your uh, your relationship as well. Now, what is the lesson that you need to learn throughout the month? However, that, that is going to be the uh, Three of Cups and it is catalyzed or accompanied with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, we do have a passive friends and it's all about trust. You need to trust uh, if you want to say the universe or these two cards are pointing that you need to trust you and the people around you because there will be differences. All right. There will be different opinions. There will be different uh, different agendas. There will be different um, expectations as well and because your expectations and your uh, agenda is different from someone that it is around you that doesn't mean that you have to go uh, in the same path or you have to kind of be uh, uh, cooperate in regards to it but as well that doesn't mean that you can't be friends all right or you can't be in a good term so it's all about maintaining this this month here will teach you how to maintain your your independence all right and in the same time how to be able to share your visions vision with others in um without bruising that vision and making it a uh, um, uh making it a pinnacle making it a, a mandatory for everybody around you because making vision a mandatory to everybody around you very uh very often it's um it's winning you more enemies than friends and it makes most of the people hate you isn't that right so you are um, an owner of a company and you are enforcing your vision. Yes, it's your company, but you have hired people to grow that company. So their vision also should matter. So uh, the lesson is very important. And also another part of the lesson that you are to learn is how to um, spread your investments either money emotions time so those investments could be as most as efficient as uh, as possible and that plays a, a big role with the growth that you will have to uh, that you are to face or the opportunity for growth that you are to face and the chores that you need to uh, attend to throughout the month because it will be up for most importance that you do manage your time your money, you know, and your emotional commitment accordingly to the demand of the situation and to the demand of the endeavor itself. And uh, uh, at last, what is the um, positive energy that will uh, help you throughout the month? We do have the five of wands and it is catalyzed by the four of pentacles. So this is in an active neutrals that we do have and those energies will uh, always provoke you to seek a, a better solution, to seek a, a better resolution and to capitalize on a surprising events extremely well. So in another words, whenever something out of the ordinary happens, something that it does not reside with the original plan of your relationship or of your career, instead of you seeing it as a, a setback, instead of you seeing it as a, something that will uh, cause you rough time you know you are to see and an opportunity into it to to reverse a course of a, a failure of this of a certain situation or a partial failure of that certain situation into a, a partial success so these two cards are pointing that you will be very agile you will have no problems whatsoever to think outside of the box and to be able to capitalize on a, a circumstances or a means that other people would see as they are quite irrelevant but you are to see them quite relevant on the contrary and uh, that will give you the upper hand to um how do i say it that will give you the upper hand um to do many things or to achieve great results with less efforts given uh, from your hand but uh, from your side but uh, at the end of the day uh, to me it all comes with this reading it all comes to you challenging yourself to provoke growth in your life and that challenge comes uh, exactly into your um, open mind or rather like it, it resides in how open-minded you are it's time Aries you to start considering opportunities that under a normal circumstances you wouldn't consider because it does look like that the circumstances are going to be out of the ordinary and instead of you taking those circumstances like i said as a setbacks you're going to take them as a an opportunities 
So that being said, Aries, this was your monthly tarot reading October 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.